People travel for hours just to get here. We saw it blow up on TikTok. Obviously, the view is gorgeous. Postings of photos like this and this of Yankee Jim's Bridge on social media lure people like Cam Pizzoforato to make the long drive and soak in the natural hotspot of the North Fork American River in Placer County. It's 100% a dangerous drive, but in my opinion, worth it. So if you're going to be careful, I recommend. There's only about 10 legal parking spots, so visitors just park anywhere along the road. And that's a big problem. The number that we have from last weekend was 313 cars. That's about 301 illegally parked vehicles. And it's something that we just cannot tolerate for public safety. There are dozens of cars parked along the roadway, but despite the numerous signs posted on both sides of the road, many chose to ignore them. Here, our car was just inches from falling over the cliff because of a car parked illegally on the other side of the road. Beginning Friday morning, it's now illegal to park within three and a half miles of the bridge and the fine, $71. Brittany Winone of Auburn has been coming here since she was eight. If somebody got hurt when they were jumping off the bridge or something, then it was like, oh, wow, how are those, like, you know, the emergency going to come and save somebody if that was really happening? The area has had fires in the past, and getting emergency crews back there would be difficult. There would be no way that I can get a fire engine, an ambulance, or even a smaller utility vehicle down to this river because of the parking, the illegal parking that's going on on the shoulders of the road. Keenan Maine and his friends drove an hour to get here. I think it kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, it's for everyone's safety. So it's for, it's for the, they have the best intentions, you know. In Placer County, Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News.